We have had a phenomenal start to season number four. Let's keep this going. Also, we got some new additions to the background. Hope you guys like them. Gonna channel the energy of the legends sitting behind us and get the results for Leeds United. All right, we've got Fulham at home here. You guys know I'll never play against Fulham mainly because there's, there's just too many questions to be opened of whether I'm match fixing, but we're gonna quick sim here against the mighty Fulham FC and the score line. It's a loss. How do they have two shots? We have five and we lose 2-1. Even when I play against Fulham on simulation, it could be considered as bloody match fixing. Also, I have seen some comments in the previous episode saying you want me to make some changes to the squad numbers, which I fully understand. You guys want, no, not, why do I always do development plan instead of change kit number? You guys want Juan Basaka wearing the number two and Basuma wearing the number six. So we will happily do that. I agree with you guys that it probably should have been done a long time ago. It looks, it looked a bit weird beforehand. All right, gonna simulate another game here. You guys know I never play against West Ham on the road. I'll never play at the London Stadium as long as they keep blowing bubbles that annoy the crap out of me. But can we get back to winning ways? Surely, 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 surely. Come on, Leeds United. It's a two-all draw. We are dominating in terms of shots, but it's still not getting three points. All right, I'm taking control of the next game so we can get a win. The CPU has been absolutely shafting us today, lads, so I am taking control. We've got Newcastle United at home. Let's not squander our good start to the season. All right, so I'm only making one big save, the one big change to the starting 11. I'm actually giving Chesney the starting goalkeeper role for this game. We had Chesney come to us before this game saying he needs some more game time. I don't want him unhappy. I want Krupa to be the main man, but we've got to give Chesney a starting a starting go from time to time. But let's go see what Newcastle United... Okay, they've got Bowman, who's a good player. Dan Byrne in there, former Fulham man. Jacob Murphy in centre-back. And Klosterman at right midfield, which makes no sense to me. Pedro Nato with Jonathan Bloody David. This team is confusing. David, where is my defensive help? Mancini's in no man's land. Chilwell's in no man's land. Got to defend. Klosterman passing it here to Ramon. Ramon with the shot. What a save from Wojciech Chesney. No pen. Defend. Get to it, Basuma. No. Don't let them get goal side. Nato. No. Mancini is just watching it go past his face. I press X and he just falls into an absolute heap. Oh, my God. That's a tidy finish from Jonathan David. But there is a lot left to be desired defensively with that one. I mean, we should have made the tackle right there. We shouldn't have given Nato that opportunity. But what are you doing, Mancini? Man was so confused. No, he's offside, surely. No, he's not. They go under. I've left the man open in the middle. This passing play is annoying the shit out of me. Make a tackle, somebody. Somebody make a tackle. Newcastle United playing like they're Barcelona. Oh, that's gone through his back. Let's keep playing here, though. That's going to be a yellow card for sure. Feed it through to Calvert-Lewin. We stuffed that up, man. Going back. Passing it around. Calvert-Lewin. Going here. Alvarez! That's a terrible finish, Jared. I was trying to green beam it. Yes, we read that one well. We didn't read that one well, though. That's going to definitely be a yellow card. It's still on, though, for Newcastle United. Nato. Going there. Yes, good tackle from Juan Basaka. Come on, counter-attacking time. Rafinha's running down the line. Oh, my God. Get it, please. A good touch. No, that's a terrible bounce. Oh, it's falling right to Calvert-Lewin, though. Who puts in Alvarez? Who goes to Brahim Diaz at the near post? All right, making a substitution here, lads. 25 minutes to go. We are going to bring off Alvarez and hope that bringing Daniel James on can reignite the spark for us to get a goal. Rafinha. Nicely done there to Juan Basaka. I need to get... In position, though. Oh, it's James! Oh, what is that touch, brother? Bro, I cannot get the ball off these guys. Yes, well red. Well bloody red. Not well passed from me, though, but we've still got the ball here. I could have gone early there, but we're going to keep going with Rafinha. He's going to go there to DCL. I see you, James. Underneath to James. Put it on the spot. Oh, why are we taking a touch? Calvert-Loon, why did I take a touch there? Going through, though, Basuma. Oh, Jared, you fucked it. I should have hit it first time. Can't even get the ball off Newcastle. This is so annoying. That's a heavy touch and an opportunity, though. Brahim, I'm just going to run up the guts. Brahim, running up the guts. I've stuffed that up. Going to Rafinha. Rafinha. 
Come on, focus up, Jared. Going, Calvert-Lewin! Oh my god, what a save! It is now or never, lads. This could be the final play of the game. We need a good cross in. It's Rafinha, in! Calvert-Lewin, no! Basuma shoots! Oh, and it's saved! How have we lost that one? Oh my god. We could score goals for fun at the start of the season but they just weren't going in today. All right, lads, we spoke about it previously, but I want to get a midfield backup for the second half of the season. We've got between Pablo Harvey, Nico Gonzalez, and Marcos Antonio, but I need a center defensive midfield backup, so I want to go in here for Marcos Antonio from Norwich City. Let's go see if we can get him on a pre-window deal here. This would be phenomenal. The Brazilian wonder kid himself, 80 rated, which would be an awesome backup option. He's at Norwich. And we could get him on the absolute cheap. 23.6 million pounds. They say 40. Dean Smith, what are you doing, bro? My chief executive has told me an absolute fib. I don't want to pay that much for him. Not a chance in the world. 25 mil, 35 mil. All right, now you're playing ball. Now you are playing ball. Let's go and say, how much should I say before? Let's just say 28 million pounds here for him. They say 35 again. Let's see if 30 is enough for them. I don't want to pay much more than that, honestly. Trying to keep it in the parameters we set at the start of the season. They say 33.7. All right, we'll accept that, lads. 33.7 million pounds for Marcos Antonio. Now let's just get the contract over the line and get him into the club come January 1. Get in there, lads. Sporadic first team player is exactly what we're looking for. Two year deal. Marcos Antonio will be a Leeds United player come January 1st. All right, we're on a bit of a slump here after a very good start to the season, but there's still so much time in the season. We need to get things going now, though. We've got Southampton away from home. Break the streak. Break the streak. It's a three-all draw. Oh, my God. Brahim with the brace and Calvert-Lewin with the equalizer in the 85th minute. Are we going to get a single dub this episode? Holy shit. Our run for the next month or so is cooked. We've got Chelsea into Man United, into Liverpool, into Manchester City. And then in the same month, we've got Wolves, Tottenham and Leicester. Oh, my God. All right. I do not want to play against Chelsea. After last season, the final day, I am still absolutely scarred from that. So we're going to simulate here. They've had a poor start to the season. They've got an interesting look. And Matt Miazga as the bloody captain is an interesting look. But come on, lads. Get the win. I trust you, CPU. Ah, oh, it's a one-all draw. Chalaba, come on. I mean, I'll take a draw against Chelsea, but still, I just want to see three points. Big time rivalry game right here, ladies and gentlemen. We have got Manchester United at home. If there was ever a time I wanted to break this poor run of form, it is right now at home against our arch enemies. All right, this is our team. I have put Krupa back into the starting 11. He's played the past few games, but obviously Chesney played in that Newcastle game. Really need to start performing though. We need to find the back of the net like we were at the start of the season. I really hope all the goals we scored at the start of the season haven't made our well dry. All right, taking a look at Man United starting 11 here. Still David De Gea in between the sticks four years later. They've signed Matty Cash and Gonzalo Inazio to their back line. Julian Brand, as we saw last season. Ritsu Doan, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Sancho. I feel like every time we played Man United, these three guys have just absolutely destroyed us. And they've got Spinozola on the bench as well. Cristiano, you're like 40 right now. Yeah, get done. Nice. Come on. Calvert-Lewin. Oh, I didn't want to go there, but it, we've still got possession. We've actually got it in a nice area right now. Calvert-Lewin getting past the challenge. Going underneath to Alvarez. Get in front. No. Put the pressure. Put the pressure. Oh, put the pressure. Juan Bissaka, well intercepted. Juan Bissaka, that was a rocket. Got the corner here though, lads. Come on, just belt it in Rafinha. Calvert-Lewin, be smart. Oh, straight to the keeper, follow up. No, why isn't Timber going for that one? Come on, Rafinha, get past Shaw. Oh, it's not what I wanted, but we still got possession. We're going to put it in there to Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips, edge of the box. Oh, that animation threw me off. Like we green beamed it and then De Gea looked like he broke his kneecap. So I was like, is this one going like, to roll into the bottom corner? Oh my God, they're turning it over like nobody's business. It's a foul. No. Oh no. No, no, no. Get up. Calvert-Lewin. No. No. Calvert-Lewin. He got absolutely crunched in that tackle. And I saw him stay down. 
Oh god, no. All right, Dan James, it's about to be your opportunity to get back into the fold. This is a big opportunity for Dan James. Julian Brandt on the attack here for Man United. Oh, as if that's fallen right to Ronaldo. As if this game can fuck off with its lucky bounces. I read it perfectly, and it just ricochets directly to Cristiano Ronaldo's feet, and somehow they find the bottom corner there. This game can go fuck itself. Oh, oh, go! What the fuck, Fred and Bay? Please, come on, make the most of it. Give me the slice of luck, old oh, De Gea. That was the luck we needed. They literally ran into each other. Oh my god! Come on, make something off the corner. I need to score a goal just to get my confidence back. Get to it, Timber. Timber! Oh, good save from Krupa. That one distracted the shit out of me. Come on, turn around. Yes, I see Rafinha. What a ball from Phillips. Please, Rafinha, put it back post. Oh, that was... No! Keep it in. No, why are you running away from it? Take a touch, fuckhead! Yeah, get off the field, Cristiano. Oh, they bring on Isaac. Isaac's a beast. They've got a corner now. Oh, my God, man. Get it away, get it away, get it away. I'm hitting X, good save. Oh, that aerial threat of Izak is absolutely terrifying. I'm ready to go short here, but they're gonna whip it in. Get it away, Chilwell, just run. Just run, Mancini. Just run for the hills, just feed it. Good ball, actually. Alvarez, hold it up. Go on there to Basuma. Basuma, I want to go to Chilwell. Just chill, Chilwell. <laughs> get it? Get it? Oh, that's got to be a yellow. Show him the cheddar. All right, we've got a deadly free kick right now. I'm just trying to belt the shit out of this one. And green beam it. Green beam it. Green beam it. That's the yellow beam. And it's hit the crossbar. Bloody hell. I need to learn how to use, like, the knuckleballs and all that. Because unless you're super close, it just never works. Oh, I've just been done there. I'm an idiot, man. I've just been done. Well tackled, though, from Timber. Well tackled. Come on, get it away. No, I wanted to go to Basuma. Oh, the passing in this game. Good save, Krupa. But the passing in this game makes me want to fucking put a bullet in my head. Good ball there from Chilwell. Go. Go, Alvarez. Please be on side. We need a good touch. Alvarez. Fucking hell. Oh, I can't score a root in a brothel. Where has my confidence gone? Oh, my. I probably should have squared it as well to Rafinha. Fuck, Jared. You idiot. Damn, bro, what is, how slow do you want to slide tackle? I want you to drill through it. Make the tackle. I've got to fuck. I had to push him out. I had to try winning the 50-50. They're going to chip us. Oh, Krupa actually saves it. Oh, no, and then you lose that one. How do you make the first one and not get that one? Fuck this, man. Fuck you, Isaac. How about you grow? How about you shrink, you bloody tall bastard? Oh, we just, we just got no confidence. Last episode... We were scoring so easily. The last two episodes, we were just so clinical, so confident in front of goals. And right now, my confidence from an attacking sense has never been lower. This has taken years, but we have finally got Billy Gilmore to the point where he can be a defensive midfielder. He doesn't go up in an overall, but at least he's now a defensive midfielder and has not losing chemistry. Also, I saw, we're gonna press B. I saw that we had, okay, player injured. I haven't opened it yet. It's for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Please do not have months. Please just be a day or a week. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are kidding me. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has done his ACL and is out for seven months. Are you kidding me? He's out for basically the season. What? Oh my god, he was starting so good as well. Bro, I mean, look at that. He's already had five... Oh, I mean, that's not the great return, but still. Oh, Calvert-Lewin's out for the season, lads. That is not good. Transfer offer here for Alfie McCullumot. Someone that I did have on the transfer list. It's from West Brom. I'll accept it. This episode, so far, has been the definition of a punch to the face. Two losses in-game, a whole bunch of losses and draws. Can we actually get a win? We've got Liverpool on the road. We've lost our star striker for the season. Oh, please, just give me a reason to live. All right, let's see what Liverpool's rolling with nowadays. Alisson still in between the sticks. Hans Hattabauer, our former guy in the back line there. I bet he's very happy that he left the club. That is a ridiculous midfield. And still, somehow, the front three is the same. That midfield, Bellingham, Sola, and Tielemans, Dybala on the bench... Luis Diaz on the bench. 
Holy shit, we have got a challenge on our hands. But now we have to try adapting. Life without Calvert-Lewin means that we're going to have Dan James back into the starting 11. This is a massive opportunity here for him to step up this season and reclaim his spot as the starting striker. I'm also open to giving Gelhart some games. Diego Jota. I'm defending using Phillips. Phillips, no. Defend, fellas. Defend. No, no. Oh, what's that? Def oh, my God. That deflection. I thought that was going in the back of the net. That threw me off so much. Timber with the big time deflection. Oh my God. Offside, no. Good passing. Nope, they win, intercept it though, and they get the shot off and they score it. Are you fucking kidding me? What is that, Krupa? Oh my God. I hate this, man. Why are we playing so shit today? And why are we getting the shittest goals? Like, fuck, I thought I had that. And they somehow intercept it. And they go and score that. Sure, well, against Salah. They're defending here. I don't want to get players dragged out of positions. They're passing it around brilliantly. They somehow get in behind. I'm just holding down A to Jockey. No, what is that defense? Oh, my God, what a save. But Juan Basaka, what are you doing, bro? Now they're away. Tiedemans. Bro, we are so shit right now. We got no defense, and of course they score. Phillips, Basuma, you fucking idiots, where are you? This game, these fucking eek dickheads. Nah, good save there. We are, we are getting like this is boys against men right now. We look like a relegation team right now. Win it, nice, Brahim, holding it. Brahim, going there, James, James, save. Come on lads, a corner, and a goal would be brilliant just before half time. I'm looking for Timber. I'm looking for Timber. Yuri and Timber puts it wide. Come on. Oh, oh, we got very lucky there. Basuma, gonna go to James. James is running for the hole. Play it through to Rafinha. Rafinha, off the post. Am I ever gonna score a goal again? Am I ever going to score a goal again? It's deflected onto the post. Good stuff here. Juan Basaka. Going under to Rafinha. I see the option in the middle. It's going to be Alvarez. It's saved again. I swear to God, man, we're never going to score a goal. Come on. Let's just, get, let's just focus on getting one goal before we get too carried away. Play it underneath. Come on, James, please. James. Holding it, going, Brahim, we scored a goal. You can't say we don't deserve it. We scored a goal, pick the ball up and let's go. Good, come on, get something going here. We've got five minutes, that's a terrible pass, Jared. What are you doing? Oh, we got lucky there. Chill well, come on, lads. Only a few minutes to go. Let's get something going, feed it. Feed it, no, what is that pass? Why are you trying to be fancy? Phillips, why are you fucking being back healing it and being fancy? Oh my god! Come on, lads, we need. We got one minute to get the ball back. I've played all out press. Make the tackle. No! Get the ball! Yes, don't you dare! No! Why would you blow full time there? Oh, we've lost that one. I swear I sound like a broken record, but I feel like this game is out to get me sometimes. I'm frustrated, lads.